All right, Kyle, thank you. In the race for the White House here, former President Donald Trump is preparing for a rally in Pennsylvania later this afternoon. It's actually the third time that he's been in PA since the assassination attempt in Butler County. Trump is now getting the support of officers in the city where the Republican convention took place. The Milwaukee Police Association just announced that well, their endorsement as Senator and, J.D. Uh, Vance visited him. union headquarters. So they're bringing out that endor endorsement and announcing it this morning. Uh, he promised that a Trump Vance administration would fully support police departments. While Senator Vance didn't provide any concrete details, he did hint at a new law enforcement policies. In the meantime, VP Kamala Harris is rolling out her first major economic agenda Friday while campaigning in North Carolina. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis with the latest. In her first major policy rollout, Vice President Kamala Harris unveiling her economic agenda Friday in Raleigh, North Carolina. Together, we will build what I call an opportunity economy. An opportunity economy. Harris casting herself as a champion of the middle class. Building up the middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. The vice president's plan, a ban on corporate price gouging on food and groceries, up to $25,000 in down payment support for first-time homeowners, a tax credit of up to $6,000 for families with a newborn, and capping the cost of insulin at $35 and out-of-pocket expenses for prescription drugs at $2,000. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign responding to Harris's proposed policies, calling them extremely damaging and a massive expansion of government control. Harris announcing her economic agenda days before the Democratic National Convention, which begins Monday in Chicago. President Biden said to be one of the key speakers taking the stage during opening night. Derek Dennis, ABC News, New York. Please know that you can count on us to bring you perspectives from both sides of the presidential race. Our senior political reporter Jason Whiteley will be in Chicago covering the DNC. Please be sure to download our streaming app, WFAA Plus, our political team. We're going to be busy posting the speeches each day. You can also find highlights and speeches from last month's Republican National Convention as well.